How's it going guys? I'm Dionysius and welcome to another episode of Siege Strats, a series where I give beginner strategies on how to attack in Rainbow Six Siege. Firstly, I just want to thank everyone who has given kind comments and positivity on all of my previous videos, especially those asking when I would be returning to making them. Work has been very draining these past few months and those comments all gave me the motivation and energy to push past it and come back to YouTube. So with that in mind, in this video we're going to be looking at attacking the meeting room site of the console office meeting room defence on consulate. I've also added a new element to my videos so that strategies are easier to share. Thanks to Project Athena, I can use the blueprints of maps to showcase the basics of what needs to be done to win the round. They recently released the blueprints to almost every siege map for free for anyone on their Twitter account, so go check them out at Project Athena R6. The end objective of this strategy is going to be flushing out the meeting room and planting behind the table. In order to do this, we're going to sweep and clear from admin, open the visa stairs wall from admin, get presence on the connector window, open a few angles behind long desk and clear out the room for the plant. There are only two main operators for this attack. You'll need a hard breacher to open a couple of reinforced walls that look towards sight. Hibana is the best for this as you'll want to open these walls from range. You'll also need someone capable of holding the windows while not getting run out on, and for that we will need Nomad. Thatcher can be very useful on this defence in case they try and deny the reinforced walls we want to open, and a strong gun to hold the flanks will also be useful, in particular with an ACOG, so possibly Ash with the G36. The first thing you want to do is get control of admin office. As long as you drone well and pre-fire from the windows, admin is very easy to clear out because almost the entirety of the desks and cover in the room are soft and can be shot through. Once you have control of admin, you also need to clear the break room and copy room as well. It can be very beneficial once all these areas are clear to open into the break room from both admin office and front office to give you a better rotation. The first wall you need to open is at the top of Visa stairs. This gives you an angle directly onto the meeting room door to stop any rotation out of the site that way and also covers the entire south half of the site. You will need somebody to hold this angle for almost the entire round if possible. Then you will want to take up position with Hibana near the vending machines and copy room door so that you can open the reinforced wall behind long desk. There are two panels that are very common to reinforce on the admin side and if you open the right areas you can get angles not only behind the table but all the way onto connector doorway. While this is happening, you will want Nomad to start prepping the south side of the building so that you can repel onto the connector window. You will want to put an air jab on the main entrance doorway, and if you put it below, it will knock the defenders further out for a better chance to kill them. You also want to put one between the two windows into the piano and press room. Again, you need to make sure it isn't too high up as the air jab will only trigger once the defenders feet touch the ground. If you put it too high, it simply won't trigger. For both of these run-out counters, you will need to quickly switch to upside-down repels you can see here, or you can't make the shot. The final air jab is to cover the balcony windows from the meeting room site. Again, if you place it below the windows, it will knock the defenders a little further away for an easier kill. Then you need to open the window into connector. Playing this window will allow you to hold a few important angles. Firstly, the doorway from meeting room into connector, so that when you start to flush out the site, you can get some really easy picks on defenders trying to leave. Secondly, it allows for control of the rotation area from yellow stairs, bathroom and console desk. This way, when the defenders start to retake, you should be able to get a few kills to stop this happening. Now that we have the site fully prepared and flushed out, it's time for the execute. Get some covering fire from a teammate so that you can enter the site from the visa stairs door. Once in, plant the diffuser behind the table, but make sure it's not behind the bomb. From here, the only place you can be seen from is if they have a rotate hole in the long desk wall, so if they do, make sure that someone keeps a lookout on that angle. Otherwise, you can't be seen from connector at all unless the defenders push up on you. Once the diffuser is down, it's time for the post plant. Once the diffuser is down, the angles directly onto the diffuser aren't really there, but that isn't what you need to hold anyway. You should have angles now onto every entry point into the room to cover for the retake. From copy room, you can cover the connector door and long desk. From admin, you can cover visa stairs and the visa stairs door, and with the placement of the diffuser, if they do manage to get into the room and stick the diffuse, you can push up very easily for a kill and round win. 
So thanks for watching guys, I hope this video was helpful and if you have any additions to the strategy or comments about how effective it was for you, feel free to leave a comment below and of course like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and to hear about the next C-Strats video as soon as it drops. I'm hoping to keep working on videos but not with the same frequency as before, maybe once every couple of weeks as opposed to weekly. Don't forget to follow on Twitter as well with the link in the comments to vote on the next poll for which map to cover next. Now go and win some rounds and I'll see you in the next one.